there are different topics we take up. The first topic is that the early medieval history, especially the time period of the early medieval India. Hello students, so today we are going to discuss a syllabus of medieval Indian history. In the last video, we had discussed the syllabus of ancient Indian history. So basically, there are basically eight main topics of medieval India that we are going to discuss in brief detail, okay? And in class, we will discuss in further detail, okay? So what we see in the medieval India, as we know, we discussed ancient India last time. In ancient India, basically ancient India ends by the time of 750 AD. So ancient India ends by the time of 750 AD. So medieval India basically will start from this time. Okay, so what are the different topic of medieval India? And we will see the political map also, okay? So do you know in the first topic of medieval India, the first topic of medieval India. So the time period of medieval India, we generally take from 750 AD, 750 AD, and it will go up to 1750 AD around. And after that, modern period basically will start, okay? So this is the main time frame of medieval India. So the first chapter of medieval India that starts from 750 AD is a early medieval India, okay? So the first chapter is early medieval India. And do you know a student, in the early medieval India, there are different topics we take up. The first topic is that the early medieval history, especially the time period of the early medieval India, that is from 750 AD to 1200, okay? Its time period is 750 to 1200 AD. This period in the Indian history is considered as a dark age by some people. Some people say that the, there is no growth of trade, there was no urban center, there was no money market, okay? There was no international trade, you know? There is no centralized state in this period. So what we can say is that, that the early medieval period is a dark case, some people say. And some people also say that early medieval period is a period of feudalism. Okay, there's a debate. So we discuss in some other video in detail about this topic. So basically in this topic, what happened? There are regional kingdoms here. So if you see the political map here, in the early medieval India, you know who were ruling? Over this Gujarat part, there was Gurjar Partihar. There was Gurjar Partihar who were ruling in the early medieval period. In the Bengal, there was Pan. Okay. Then there was Brahdavals. Okay. Then we have Parmars. Parmars are here. Okay. Air Harsvadhan is there. Then Kashmir was here. Kashmir was here. This region, uh, it was ruled by Kamrupa. Kamrupa. This region was especially ruled by Rashtrakuta. Rashtrakuta. These regions were ruled by Chola. Chola. So basically, there are more than dozens, okay, more than 12 of small kingdoms were in the medieval India. And these, most of these uh, rulers were especially Rajputs, okay. So there's a rise of Rajput also in this period. Rajputs were not there before, before the early medieval period. So this is early medieval. Then the, the, the second topic that of we discuss in the medieval India is a topic called Turkish invasion of India. Turkish invasion of India. And especially when we see the Islam it started coming. So Islam people will be coming. So in this topic, we basically de deal that how Islam was right in the Central Asia, how Islam come here. One of the first Muslim person who came to India was Arabians and Arabians and this was Mohammed bin Qasim who came to India in 712 AD. And after that, Muhammad Ghazini will come in 1000 AD and then Muhammad Ghori in 1170, 1180, and 1190. And he will come and he will defeat Prithvi as uh, in the second battle of Taran. In the first battle, he was himself defeated by Chauhan. And then he uh, appointed his slave here, especially Kutubuddin Abad, as a governor of India for ruling from Lahore. And later on, when he will die in 1206, uh, Kutubuddin Abad declared himself independent and then he will found Delhi Sultanate. Okay. So in 1206, a new uh, chapter will start, that is Delhi Sultanate. So in chapter 2, basically we didn't discuss a Turkish invasion of India, that how Turkish, how Muslim people come to India. We discussed this one in this topic. The second, the third chapter will be on Delhi Sultanate. So do you know, in Delhi Sultanate, the Delhi Sultanate which was founded in 
1206 and will, it will decline by 1526. In Delhi Sultanate, there are five dynasties. One is Slave Dynasty, we have then Khilji Dynasty, Tughlaq Dynasty, Said Dynasty and Lodi Dynasty. So in this five dynasty, what we see, the most powerful dynasty, the first dynasty, if you see this map, in, in, in this map, the first dynasty, Slave Dynasty, uh, under the ruler of Iltut Mis, this is a political map of India. This is a political map of India. And it is a Khilji, especially Alauddin Khilji, who went into the south. So do you know, if this person was asked in the exam, that which of the following Muslim ruler went to south first. So it was Alauddin Khilji who took expansion in the south. Before that, the people could not go towards south. So this is Khilji dynasty. And then after Tughlaq, what will happen? Uh, in the time of Tughlaq, the Madurai will become independent. Madurai will become independent. Vijayanagar kingdom will be found. Vijayanagar kingdom will be found. Bahmani kingdom will be found in the time of the time of Mohammed Tughlaq. Okay, in the 1332-1350. Here Bengal will become independent. After Firoz Shah Tughlaq, after Firoz Shah Tughlaq, uh, Awadh will become independent. Gujarat will become independent, and then Rajputana state will become independent. So the what we see, Delhi Sultanate declined by 1526. Okay, but only by the time of 1400 only. All the states which were united by Alauddin Khilji and, and were becoming independent separately. So, there is a disintegration of Delhi Sultanate. So, that we discuss in chapter 3 in detail. Okay. So, chapter 3 is of Delhi Sultanate. And then chapter 4 will be the same thing that we discuss here. And what we discuss here is that these all kingdoms become independent. Okay. So, we discuss this one. So, what we see? Regional kingdom in medieval India. Chapter 4 will be regional kingdom of medieval India. And we discuss from this time, okay, in which there are Bengal, the, the, but even we discuss here, now that will be the main one, Gujarat, Bengal, then we have Avad, then we have Par, uh, we have Urisa, Rajpati, Rulat are there, Bahamani kingdom, Vijayanagar kingdom. These are the major interpretations in chapter 4. Chapter 5, we discuss the Bhakti and Sufi movement. Okay. Bhakti and Sufi movement. Do you know what do we do deal in this chapter 5? In chapter 5, we, dis we generally discuss that how Bhakti movement arose in India. Simultaneously, there was a Sufi movement also. So, there are different sets of Bhakti people. The Bhakti sense were and they were basically are uh, talking against the discrimination in the Hindu society, there is the idol worship, there is the caste discriminations. So these people are working these two terms and Sufism was against the Orthodox Islam. So we will discuss in detail in the Bhakti movement and this is uh, from the prelims point of view, this topic is very much and crucially important, okay. Chapter 5 and that especially happens from the uh, 9th century to the 15th, 16th century time period, okay. So in the chapter 6, now what will happen? Uh, Delhi Sultanate will be uh, defeat, defeated and uh, they will be overthrown by Babur. Babur who come from Central Asia. Jo kaas aate hai? Pargana. Jo Uzbekistan region se aate hai. Okay. So do you know what is going to happen here in the Bhakti movement? Uh, after this, after regional kingdom, what will happen? The Mughal Empire will be founded. So chapter 6 of powers will be Mughal Empire. In this chapter 6, we generally take up an issue and this empire is especially founded in 1526 and in medieval India, we do not go into more detail. Generally, it was ended by 15, 1858, okay, Mughal Empire finally. But we take up the issue till the 1750s, you know, um, 1750s, the trace issue later. In this, the, who are the most powerful ruler, especially the first founder of the Mughal Empire was Babur. It was followed by his son, Humayu. Humayu ruled for 10 years, he was defeated by Sher Sasuri. The Sher Sasuri will be included in this chapter only, a small part of this chapter. And then Sher Sasuri again became uh, ruler of India after 15 years of his defeat in 1555. But he ruled for 6 months only. And then he died after falling from library's stairs. After that, Akbar became the king in 1556 uh, and he will be died by the time of 1605. Then he was followed by his son, what was the name? Jahagir, Jahagir by and then Sajah by Aurangzeb. So Aurangzeb died in 1707 and after that the Mughal Empire will start declining slowly and gradually. Okay. So this is what we know in this topic. So Mughal Empire Hamara chapter 6 over. 
चैप्टर सेवन ऑफ द टॉपिक विल बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ द मिडिवल इंडिया दैट इज अ मराठा ओके सो मराठा एम्पायर और मराठा किंगडम विल बी द वन एंड बी डिस्कस इन सच डिटेल ओके सो मराठा किंगडम वॉज फाउंडेड बाई शिवाजी भोसले एंड दिस इज नोन एज छत्रपति शिवाजी and sibaji is a contemporary of both sajha and aurangzeb so in this topic we generally discuss that the rise of sibaji how he struggled against the local people how he struggled against the mughal empire and after the death of sibaji in the year 1600 uh, 1680 uh, there is a fight between two brothers two sons of sibaji one is a raja ram and another is a sambaji then sambara sambaji was killed by the mughal emperor then what happened a uh, raja ram was ruling in the name of सांबाजी सन दैट इज साहू सो साहू दिस इज स्ट्रगल सो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ मराठा इंपायर वन इज अ मराठा किंगडम किंगडम रूल बाय किंग्स एंड अदर इज अ मराठा कॉन्फेडेसी दैट विल बी द मराठा विल बी कॉन्फेडेसी आफ्टर सेवनटीन फोर्टीन स्पेशली वेन पेशवासिप बिकम द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट इन द हिस्ट्री ओके पेशवासिप सो चैप्टर सेवन ए हो गया हमारा द चैप्टर एट विल बी द इम्पोर्टेंट कल्चरल थीम्स है ना वी विल डिस्कस important whatever we are not discuss in chapter 7 important cultural themes of medieval india medieval india so generally this will be our chapter 8 okay and in this chapter we discuss about the role of women the foreign travelers who came to india arts and culture education and all of the miscellaneous things are discussed in chapter 8 so this is a chapter 8 so this is a broad map of uh, <coughs> what we say the medieval india in the next video we will be discussing that what is the slavers of modern india and followed by a slave of world history also okay thank you so much